Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a review of Defragler and Smart Defrag 2. Both of these programs are defragmentation programs. Um, if you don't know what that does, uh, what that means, I'll put a link in the description uh, that will explain what it means. But um, really quickly, it's just uh, it's just going to place files on the hard drive where they're better better suited to be accessed. Um, so if one if one program, one exe file, for example, that's uh, large, is split into two uh, pieces on the hard drive, it'll just put them together so the computer doesn't have to take extra long for both pieces just to load up that one file. Um, but I will put a link in the description uh, if that didn't make sense and to just uh, explain what it does a little bit better. But um, today I'm just going to be reviewing Defragler and Smart Defrag 2 because both of these are really good defragmentation softwares and um, they both wor work really well and some people are just wondering which one is better for them so I'm going to uh, do a review of both of them. So let's start with Defragler. Over here you can choose which drive you want to defragment. You can do a hard drive or a USB. It supports both. Um, I'm just going to go and analyze to show you uh, to show you how how it looks and how you can tell how do you, how fragmented you are. Okay, so it's done analyzing. It'll give me the results right here for uh, 494 fragmented files, which is 40 gigabytes, which means I have some pretty large fragmented files. Uh, total number of fragments and the percentage of my hard disk of uh, fragmentation. So, uh, and over here it'll also kind of just show me visually. If I go to drive map, I can see white is empty, blue is not fragmented with low occupancy, uh, light red is frag fragmented with a low occupancy and there's uh, there's a lot more so um, that's that's pretty much it for the how it works to defrag you can just press defrag here or in this area you can choose a quick defrag if you want um, so that just analyzed my C drive now uh, the other things that I can do is under settings there is boot time defrag. You should probably run once and next time you restart your computer what it'll do is some programs can't be fra defragmented um, while while Windows is running. So what it'll do is before Windows actually starts up it will f defragment some certain Windows files. Okay so that's uh, boot time defrag priority you can set the program's priority to background which is nice you can shut down after defrag uh, you can schedule um, defragmentation schedule you can do it weekly daily once you can just schedule it uh, to do once let's say a week from now so um, that's another nice thing about it under options uh, it won't give you too much it'll just give you some uh, advanced options. You don't need to mess around with that. It'll, um, it does a good job by itself. You can defrag a certain file, uh, which is useful. You can defrag a folder. And um, under advanced, you can defrag the free space. So that's nice. That's pretty much it for a piriform defragler. Um, so that's all for piriform defragler. It's nice. It defragments quickly. Uh, it has a boot time defrag and um, so now I'm going to be moving on to smart defrag 2 okay so the interface of smart defrag 2 is easy to understand um, when you look at it you can see the drives or the plugged in um, USBs or you can see your hard drives from right here you can uh, turn on automatic and boot time defrag which is really useful um, in defragler you had to go under settings it took some time so it's really nice you can just see which drive and you can turn on automatic and boot time defrag you can also shut down PC after defragmentation which was available in um, defra defragler as well 
Under automatic defrag, if you turn it on, um, on the C drive, you can configure it and uh, just set the settings for it. <clears throat> so, and then boot time defrag, you want to turn it on and make sure all of these are checked. This will really help um, with your computer's performance. Uh, I think boot, the boot time defrag of Smart Defrag 2 is better than the defragler boot time defrag. I've done some research and it goes more thoroughly and it takes more time. But they're both really good. Um, the regular defragmentation is actually a little bit better in defragler in my opinion. Uh, but I still choose dark, smart defrag because um, because if you run it often enough it really works great. So, alright, now let's go into the settings and see what's there. So the general settings, um, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can choose always defrag. Um, it's really self-explanatory. And then automatic defrag, you can start automatic defrag when system is idle. Say when uh, nothing, when nobody's using it for 10 minutes or you could do one minute, then it'll start the automatic defrag. You can pause the auto defrag when the resource usage, which is the RAM, exceeds a certain percent. Uh, scheduled defrag, you can turn it on and configure it. Uh, this is kind of another way of doing what uh, was explained earlier over here. Boot time defrag, you can uh, on every day, on every 10 day first boot. Now this is a great, this is something that uh, has a great advantage over defragler. If you remember defragler, you can just press w run once or run every time or uh, don't run. Run once will just run it the next time you reboot your computer. Run every time will run it every time you reboot your computer, which is unnecessary and it'll take too much time. But the great thing about um, Smart Defrag is it allows you to kind of put a schedule on every five day first boot or on every 30 day first boot. Um, you can do every boot, every first boot, uh, only next boot, or you can just turn it off. Okay, so back into the settings, uh, the exclude list, you can exclude some files that you don't want to be analyzed or defragmented. And user interface, you can just adjust the transparency of it, and um, <coughs> that's pretty much it. So that's all for Smart Defrag. Uh, I hope this video answered some of the questions you had. If it didn't, please leave a comment below. So um, thanks for watching.